no one in our community, uh, not a mother, not a nine-year-old, certainly not news professionals, should become the victim of gun violence in our community. We begin with heartbreaking news tonight from Orlando. Three people killed in three separate shootings in the city's Pine Hills neighborhood. A nine-year-old girl among those murdered, along with a television news reporter who was on the street doing his job. His co-worker was also shot, as was the child's mother. Tonight, a teenager is in custody accused of firing those shots. This is the suspect. Orange County investigators say pulled the trigger without remorse, forever changing so many lives. Sheriff revealed tonight that 19-year-old Keith Moses is no stranger to local police there. Ari Height closely following this tragedy tonight and has more details on the investigation. Ari? Yeah, police in Orlando say they were looking for Keith Melvin Moses as a suspect in the earlier shooting when he came back to the scene and he shot four more people. Police at this hour are still trying to piece together evidence, trying to figure out not just what happened, but why it happened. So I want to acknowledge what a horrible day this has been for our community and our media partners. Investigators say the day began around 11 a.m. when deputies were called to Hialeah Street in Pine Hills, just outside of Orlando. Once there, they found a woman uh, who was in her 20s who was shot and succumbed to her injuries. Five hours later, around 4 p.m., news crews were still on scene reporting on that shooting when they too were shot. Deputies say a man walked up to a Spectrum News 13 vehicle and shot a reporter and photographer. It is unclear if he knew um, they were news media or not. We're still trying to work all of that out. One member of the news crew was killed. The other is in critical condition. The sheriff says they believe this man, 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses, is responsible for both shootings. And the sheriff says after shooting the news crew, Moses walked around the corner and shot two more people. There's a brown house up there. He walks inside the house and shoots uh, the nine-year-old and the mom. And right now we're unclear as to why he shot uh, them in that house. The nine-year-old was killed. Her mother is in critical condition. Investigators believe Moses was an acquaintance of the original victim Wednesday morning, but they don't know why he shot her, and they don't know why he returned later to shoot four more people. No one in our community, uh, not a mother, not a nine-year-old, and certainly not news professionals, should become the victim of gun violence in our community. So at this point, Moses is only charged in connection with the shooting of that woman early Wednesday morning. The sheriff says they expect to charge him with the other four shootings, perhaps as soon as tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.